Did you know that you are not exclusive until he does this one thing? I'm going to tell you what that is. And before I do, I want you to subscribe and share, of course. We want all women to know this. And hit that red alert button so you are sure to get all my upcoming videos. So when are you exclusive and how do you know that? You only know that after he asks you to be exclusive. Without that, you are kidding yourself. That's right, he must come forward and say, I really want us to be exclusive, or I'm ready to be exclusive, or are we exclusive? And then you need to have conversation and you most importantly, cannot be afraid of this conversation and of standing in your value with it. Because if you are afraid of it and you are afraid of, oh my gosh, he's going to run away if I say I want to be exclusive, then I will ask you this. If you say that you must have exclusivity in order to be sexual and he says, well, I'm not going to be okay with that, what does that tell you? <laughs> that tells you that he is in a state of being a consumer for you, not a buyer for you. I just had this conversation with a client the other day. It was very important because she believed that her man coming forward after they had just been dating and not having sex yet, how could he possibly be interested in waiting? And boy, was that something that it went ding, ding, ding. I have to talk about this in a video because it is so important. He is waiting for her because she's giving him that not yet feeling. And you can go to another video I have about the power of not yet. He is in a state of being ready, willing, and able to commit. And he has fallen for her. He is willing to wait because of, sh of her showing him that she is such high value to be worth that wait. And he is giving her that respect of waiting. Let's look at it another way. If he were not that interested in her, they've gone on like six, seven, eight dates now, if he were not that interested in her, he would A, not be telling her when she says, you know, I'm just not ready. He would not be saying, that's okay. He's actually said the words to her. That's okay, I'll wait. Now this isn't a 17-year-old. A this isn't a, you know, he is uh, in his mid-30s. He's looking for something more. If he wants to, as a 35-year-old, uh, well-heeled man, and he's got it all going on, he's got a good job, he can go have sex. He doesn't have to wait, but he's interested in her. He respects her. He's thinking more about her as a possible wife and mother of his children. He's thinking about this because of the way she has presented herself. Because, ladies, remember, I want you to remember the saying, and I put it in the uh, comments below. I'll put it in, uh, in the description. That what you do with him, he thinks you do with all men. So when you are showing him, I don't just give over sexually, even when he knows that you are interested and there's chemistry and you want to, you are showing restraint and the restraint of, I will hold off for a man who shows me the respect and that he values me for more. This is what a man who's looking for a real partner, a wife, possible mother of his children, that's what he's looking for. A man who is just looking for sex will not wait. He won't be rude. He will just move on. That's all, and that's okay. Because you don't want to be pushing for something sexually with a man who's not ready, because it's not gonna be about you. 
you are beautiful and wonderful just the way you are. It takes that special man who sees that and is ready to commit. And that's what my book is about. There's more in this, um, and if you know my stuff, the puppy principle, you'll get it completely from an experience that you have or have had yourself. How men feel about women, love them, commit, and eventually make their decisions and bond. So that's why won't he commit, how a man decides to make you the one. You can get that everywhere uh, books are sold. You just have to order it. And it's really valuable to know how men feel because when you do, and you can separate the fact that a man is in a state of being ready, willing, and able to commit, that it's not about you. He can love you, but not be in that state. It is a game changer for you. So again, about exclusivity, you need to be showing yourself a value that I expect exclusivity prior to having sex. Because if not, he believes that you just, what you do with him, you do with all men. So if I have sex with you on a third date without having this discussion, what does that mean to him? That means that you've done that with all men. Now, this doesn't make a lot of sense to us because that's not us as women. We don't do that. We don't just whatever we do with one man do with another. It's almost laughable and you hear it in my voice, right? Because we don't do that. It's what the man thinks. And in my work, I will always bring to you how the man believes so that you can have the best chance of getting the commitment you desire and deserve, a la a man that you are with. So I'm going to do another video about what you do when you have already gotten into a sexual relationship that you don't know whether it's exclusive or not because he hasn't brought it up. And I can tell you if he hasn't brought it up and he hasn't wanted to lock you down in that, then he hasn't. Meaning he hasn't made the decision and he's not exclusive. So we do need to have that discussion and it is the basis of my work to allow women to get to that state um, for themselves. They want, they want to be in that state of knowing, respecting themselves, and expecting that a man that they are with will respect that. And most importantly, know that if you are showing yourself in any dating experience to be that respected woman that does not just have sex easily because they can feel that we want to, they know that we want to, that shows him the restraint he is looking for in a wife. He will respect that. And if he walks away from that, you know what that tells you? He respects you enough to walk away from it and not push for something that he knows he cannot give to you. This is vital. So if you've been in any kind of relationships whereby you felt, wow, you know, he just must be me. He just walked away from me when I said I wasn't going to have sex with him. And a lot of women can know it's because I didn't have sex with him. Well, that could very well be. But here's the deal. If it's because you wouldn't have sex with him, just like I said in the beginning, it is because he was not going to commit to you. And he may see, I'm going to be respectful of that. She deserves someone who is going to respect her in that way. And so I'm going to remove myself because I'm a good guy and let her go find that because I'm not ready to do that because I can go and just have sex with anyone. So I hope you're getting the idea here. Follow me on you know, Instagram for more of my quotes and stories and more of this material, but also subscribe to me here so that we can really have more discussions about this. You can have them, you can get more of my material and ask me any question or make a comment below. I answer everybody that makes a comment that makes sense <laughs> and we will be talking together.